Well, hello again. This is Delta Climber coming to you from Delta Climber Studios. It has been a while since I've made a video, about three months or so, maybe a little longer. But I have been playing a game called Mabinagi. It's from Nexon Corporation. And um, my character is still up and playing now. He's in a fishing event, a kind of a fishing rodeo where you catch fish and I am not winning. There are people that have 310 centimeter uh, gilded bloopers, but I don't. But my guy's fishing. But um, I'm going to bring up Sword Burst 2. I played a little bit yesterday. It's Friday, September the 17th. And I didn't see very many. I saw one hacker, I think. But um, it seems like they have a couple of changes there. So I thought I'd do a little quick little video on Sword Burst 2. So many uh, nice people. I've met a lot of nice people on the game. Uh, very friendly. And it makes me want to go back and play again. So they may have fixed a couple of problems and they added a couple of new little features that I like. And I thought I'd showcase them. So here Delta Climber is. Oh, I've got to remember how to move and everything. Here I am. That guy. Hi, this guy wants to be in my video. Sound. 1313, welcome. Well, we're here in Arcadia. Now, if I make mistakes, you guys bear with me. Like I say, it has been a minute. And that other game that I've been playing, Mabinagi, it is a brainwash. I mean, you really get into it. And it's not easy. And I've... Uh, three months I've gotten like eight Grand Masters. I started working on Grand Master level characters and if I did a video on it you could see just how complicated and in-depth it is. But here we are in Sword Burst 2. I'm going to take and I've heard a couple of things and I look up in my upper left corner I am a 203. I came on and played every once in a while. You know once or twice a well about once a week some weeks, none at all. And uh, at a 203, I want to level up to a 204. I'm thinking around uh, floor 7 should be a good place to do that. In Sword Burst 2, when I want to level my characters up, I like to go to... This is not what I wanted. I said 7, but I meant 8. Yes, 8. Blooming Plateau. But when I uh, level up my characters at a lower level, I would go through um, Hidden Wilds hallways because they're so packed full of monsters and just go back and forth as long as I could stay alive. And there's a hallway here, if they haven't changed it, um, on Blooming Plateaus that has is full of monsters. Um, and I'm going to see if we can level up real quick there, maybe get a couple of little drops, and then go for a big legendary drop in a higher floor if we have time to do that. Taking note of the time. I need to set a timer. Boy, when you're playing a game, time flies, doesn't it? All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can remember. I've done it a couple of more times. Uh, how to do the super speed jump is what I call it. Other people call it speed glitching. Let's see if it worked. And it worked. So we're going to super speed jump over to... Oh, I thought you wanted some attention there, Mr. Pedal Knight. I'm going to go ahead and hit a couple of monsters on the way. Uh, if you see off in the distance, right up there, there's a stairway that goes up to, uh, one of them goes up, I think it's that one, that goes up to the mini balls. This stairway up here is a dead end. It doesn't go up anywhere. See, you see me pressing the wrong keys there. 
The other game, Malinagi, is a sandbox MMORPG fantasy life game. You can do anything. Well, I know that a lot of people's imaginations can run wild with them. But you can fish, play music, ride horses, fight in dungeons, fight in the open uh, prairie of the woods, do quests. I mean, it is a very intricate uh, game, and it's it's a lot of fun. It just sucks you in. Um, I get a little frustrated. I got a new Dell computer to play games on. And with Mobby, I get kicked off sometimes, maybe once a day, and that, that gets old. Well, the hallway is still here. We super speed jumped over to the hallway. And I'm going to show you one of the new features that they have come up with. It is a heal feature. It, it takes some of your stamina and throws it up to your health. During the uh, winter event, they had the tree event where you could get a tree and plant it and it would keep your stamina from running out for a certain length of time. There's another green guy. Where are all of them? Usually they pile up on you. Usually they pile up on you. Hmm. Let's see something a little weird. I see a lot of them like climbing the walls. They're oh gosh, they stack up pretty good. You got to climb in the walls. Like they've changed something. They changed the physics or something on the game. I noticed that yesterday when I went. I went from floor to floor just to become familiar. You don't want to lose your pathways and remember how everything works, right? Well, um, I noticed it seemed like they changed the physics a little bit. The auto scrolling. Oh, look, we got a like a Thor Claymore. We got a Claymore from these guys. But the um, auto scroll on the text there, the chat still does not always auto scroll. That's a minor thing. Just reach over and roll it up. Looking to see if I see some familiar names. There's somebody named Oscar. I used to know an Oscar. Yesterday I ran into um, a guy that he and I used to play a little bit together. I um, remember right, we used to hang out at Floor 9 Mini Boss a lot together, trying to get a good drop there. Super, S O O P E R, is his character name. I don't know the numbers and all that that goes after it, but. Oh, these guys, yeah, this should... I'm not dying as quickly as I should. These guys usually stack up on you and they'll take you on out. At a 203, is there that much difference in the health? Hey, come back. Don't you want to play? No, he wants to go climb the wall. There's a few. Come on, guys. All right, here's quite a few. Let me get above. Maybe I can see them. Oh, look at that health. I want to do the shield. I set a hotkey to my health. That's not the gun. I first time I did that, I thought it was a gun. You know that you can get off of floor 11. But this is a health regen button that throws some of your stamina up to your health. Of course, your shield and everything still works. You have shield or defense, whatever you want to call it. I have uh, my special set up on T. If you, got, if you have long fingers, you can set, like health is on H. i got to stretch way over to get it, but I do have long fingers. I'm trying. It's gonna, I've got 7K more to go. 
to get to 204. I'm hoping I can get that before I get to the boss room. I get some of these green goblins, these forest wanderers to play a little bit. I've had a few people yesterday come up and say that some of the YouTube videos that I made actually helped them. And I was glad to hear that. That's why I do these. It's I'm not making any money. But as a retired old school teacher of technology, you know, I, I loved making uh, the school news. We would do news videos. And uh, I do, do like making videos sometimes like this. Especially if they're helpful. Come on, guy, croak already. Well, it looks like I may have to make another pass through the hallway to level up. Instead of two passes, so that would be boring for you guys to watch. But now the, it went, for, I was max level at 200. Now the max level I hear is 250. Of course, you can double check that on the wiki. The wiki itself has changed. Instead of clicking on the buttons that have little pictures on it, icons on them, to go into the various databases or whatever, there is a drop down menu and a bar up close to the top. I found that to be healthy. Healthy. Helpful. Yeah, healthy. There goes someone going the wrong direction. No, I'm going in the wrong direction. They're headed to the boss room. Where did that guy go? Did I clob one? Yeah, I haven't seen the hackers on the game like I used to, which was so very annoying. And that was just a few months ago. Maybe they got bored and moved on. All right, when you use your skills, let me finish this again. I'll show you with my mouse cursor. Down at the bottom down here, you have your shield or your block. You have, um, this is the special for whatever weapons you have. I have, I'm wielding dual one-hand weapons. Um, Oath Keepers, I believe. I've, it's been a while. And Right here I have N, my tree making skill is on N, and then H for health. After you use it, it'll turn red, and then it'll slowly go back to clear like it is now. So you'll know when you can reuse the skill. So watch down at the bottom and you'll know when you can reuse your skill. Hey, Shadow's Edge, there goes somebody else to the boss room. I did go to floor 11, which I may do a couple of videos if you guys are interested and want to watch them. Uh, went to floor 11, playing with the mini bosses a little bit. I still cannot solo them. Um, well, actually, if it was just me and a mini boss, I could solo the thing. But all the other monsters want to join in and take me out. But I noticed that they have not put the boss dungeon in yet. And I'm wondering, um, they upped the level, the max level, last time, just before they put in floor 11. So I'm wondering if they are upping the max level to 250 just before they put in the new dungeon. The uh, boss dungeon for floor 11. So that will be interesting to see if my theory is correct. I'm sure that you can discord or whatever it is that they use to discuss their plans um, with people. But I'm sure that we will see soon enough, I guess. Hey, you're somebody else. Kirito, is that right? Yeah, it is. Uh, that's an old character name. Let me see here. Just 
pop a line and message in there and I did not do it right. Something, yeah, there we go, just lagging. Kitty Toe used to be somebody that I knew on the, the character-wise. You don't know the real people behind the characters. Some people, it, you wouldn't mind knowing them, but other people, I wouldn't want to know them. If you're going to hack and cheat and steal and PK, if you could, uh, no. He's not watching his chat or something. But anyway. Oh, 2K away. 2K away from 204. I think I can start going back to the boss room now, maybe. And maybe finish this out. 2K. Wow, I hope you guys are hanging in there and surviving this pandemic. This is 2021, a year and a little bit, a year and more than a half. It was January or February of 2020, um, COVID-19. They, they discovered it, uh, I think, in the end of 19. But it hit the United States big time at the beginning of 20. So here it is, fall of 21, and people are arguing about mask mandates or whether to get immunized, you know, vaccinated or not, and all sorts of crazy stuff. And all we're doing is having fun playing games, right? What a wonderful time to be retired. Here we go, look at this. We're 1K away, less than 1K away, 600 away from 204. 300 away from 204. Come on, big guy, you're worth 100 points, I think. Ooh, more than that. Two, yep, we are 200 away, 200 away from... He was worth 100. It was 300. Now 200 away. And there it is. 204. Woo! Now I'm going to just run on up to the boss room. Show y'all a couple of cool things. And here we go. Now, I don't know if they put the bumper guards. Like when you go bowling, you can have these bumper guards that come up on... For the kids, not for the grown-ups. If your bowling is so bad, and it'll help the ball stay out of the gutter, it actually blocks the gutter off, so you can't have a gutter ball. On those staircases sometimes, I used to could fall off them, but it looks like they may have put bumper guards in there. And here we are at Floor 8, Blooming Plateau's Boss Room. We're going to hit a boss, show you a couple of things, the new things, and then we'll call it a video, I guess. See if I can get my wife, we, to come on with me in one of these future videos. Here's Kitty Toe right here. In Mabanagi, you press enter to type. was a little guy I helped out yesterday. There's Oscar. I saw him yesterday. I, a guy, a little kid named, a little character named Dev, D-E-V something. He was real nice, uh, but he was wearing a cobalt helmet or something. And uh, I gave him a couple of shields to help him out. 
Oh, this is something else I found here. There is a hole right there. People like to climb in there and I guess hit the monsters from below. But I see I saw someone get stuck there too. They couldn't roll out, they couldn't get out, they had to reset. So I would not recommend falling in the floor eight boss room hole. Is there somebody in there now? Nope. Oh, there's the boss. There's somebody popped a tree up. And are we gonna get a drop? I have been here yesterday and got nothing. We got Veil. All right, let me show you guys a couple of real quick things. Delta Climber here. This health, when you press E, you go to skills. How I discovered it is I was at floor 11 looking to see if I got the gun skill. And I didn't, but I noticed this down at the bottom, health. So it said press A key, and I put mine on H because I have long fingers and I can reach over on H. And when my health is down, I press H, and it takes part of my stamina and throws it up to health. And it looked like the gun at first. I said, is that the gun? No, that's not the gun. So another thing is I've noticed, and I'll show you in another video, that the physics of the game, it's like they made the physics gravity lighter for the monsters. They can climb on top of each other and climb on top of you, and if one is sitting on top of your head and you're using like dual one hands like this, you won't do much damage to them. A katana swinging overhead does, but... And then I went to floor 10, and I will show you all this in another video if you want to. Um, you can't hang the floor 10 boss up on the corners like I used to could, so I have to just old school solo them. I have to pull them off to the side, the, the floor 10 boss to the side, away from those guardians, and old school solo him. So here's a couple of neat things that I discovered here. We got a health. Um, see how it's not red anymore? It's um, set up to where I can reuse it again. Also, uh, inventory is a little bit different. Let's say if I want to put a katana on. Also, also, right here, they've got a little button here that you can click. And it will take you to hide armor. It will let you hide the armor so that you can see your clothes, the, your Roblox clothes. So you can hide your armor. That's a new button. And uh, But let's say if you want to put on another sword... They don't have distinguishable buttons, and delete is really close to equip. So, guys, be careful and don't press delete. Uh, I guess I could try that on something I really don't care about. I can get tons of those. If I press delete, it says click again. It does give you a second chance before it deletes it. It does give you a second chance before it deletes it. But... You know, delete is right there beside equip. So, like if you have your World Slayer that you want to put on, uh, you want to be careful and not delete that sucker. If you're using an auto clicker or something, be very careful because if it clicks delete and it's in the same place, click again is in the same place, it will delete your stuff. Not that I've done that, but I can just imagine. So, you guys have a great time playing the game. This is Delta Climber coming to you from Delta Climber Studios and Sword Burst 2. In the next video, uh, we'll try and go up to a higher floor and see what's changed. Hopefully, we won't bump into any hackers and see if we can't get a legendary drop. Until then, arrivederci.